Darren the Magic Ghostbuster. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and check out all my Ghostbusters themed magic videos. So, in this video, we're taking a look at stage 88 of the Build an XO1 by Eagle Moss and Hero Collector. And that is part of issue 24, and that is continuing the window, window, no, I could never say window, window mechanism and inner door. So, let's get started. So, stage 88, window door mechanism and inner door. So, we'll be finishing off the window so we can wind that down. Finishing off the door and then we shall be adding the door to the car and we shall end up with this okay so first up is fitting the interior door handle so here's the handle just goes in there and then we're going to screw that from behind with an EP screw nice and simple Okay, so for the window lever, obviously you need the window lever, and there you'll get these two cogs, and at a glance they look identical, but they are actually slightly different. This one has a tire that is flat at the bottom of that interior circle, and that's the one we're going to use here. So, if we put the lever through, and then Place that on and then we're going to screw that in with a KM screw. That went in surprisingly easily. And then this other cog is going to go in the middle there and then hopefully when we wind that round Seems very, very stiff. Why is that? Let's try loosening these screws a tad. Anyway, if I um, need to put a screw in here, which I nearly forgot. That was silly of me. So they need a UP screw. Let's uh, grab one of those. Very stiff, I'm not really. Let's try tightening this again, make sure it's. Not want to play very well. Make sure that's in properly. Yeah, it seems to, it goes a little bit and it seems to get stuck. I'll have to have a play with that. Okay, so I've tightened all the uh, screws and um, it just. I've tried them loose, I've tried them tight, and it just doesn't, it's just not very good. It's um, like it jams, and they're and like looking at it, like there seems to be no logical reason for it jamming, and um, yeah, very weird. But anyway, um, it's not like I'm gonna undo the windows really ever. Um, Anyway, uh, the window goes on, and then we're going to screw that in place with a UP screw. And then obviously that's going to 
raise and lower the window seat again. It's just, it's like if you put some pressure on it on the window and then push it down, it seems to work. But, well, it shouldn't have to really. Okay, so now for the fun, tricky part, we're going to take this and uh, obviously the door. We're going to slide the window up here. And then this is going to go in place like this. And then drop my screws everywhere. So we're going to have IP screws in these top two holes. DM screws in the bottom two holes. Okay, then we're going to take uh, these parts and they are just going to slot in here. Easier said than done. one. Sorry about pushing too hard and breaking it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, there we go. And then let's test the window. See, it just jams. Uh, it's yeah, so if you push down on the window, it sort of helps. I wonder if putting some oil on it or something would help, but maybe it just needs breaking in, I don't know. But like I said, it's not something I'm going to keep messing with. I'm going to just have it closed all the time, really. Okay, so we're going to remove the uh, door switch, um, which is marked V, from the uh, main part of the ecto, uh, the way we've done all the wiring, then that's going to slot into there. And then we're going to take this piece and screw that in there with DM screws. Once that's done, you're going to take this piece, that is going to slot in there, and that is also going to go in with a DM screw here. One thing I completely forgot, I was getting overly excited moving on, was to take the keyhole and push that in there, which is uh, really awkward actually. Oh, there we go. Okay, now to install the door. Um, recommend obviously turning the, uh, when you turn the ecto upside down, I do recommend putting a, uh, a tea towel down. And also be careful with the uh, bonnet because that um, does like to open easily when you uh, turn it upside down. But anyway, that's going to go in there. And then if we just push that shut, help hold it in position for us and then we're going to use a couple of UM screws to screw it in. Okay and that door is installed and as you can see opens up, closes, what you want in the door really isn't it? Um, it seems to line up perfectly at the top and it's pushing slightly but Anyway, um, let me know what you think. It's good to see two doors on now, and in the next stage we'll be uh, moving on to this back window. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think, and as always, keep on busting.